ventilation systems down. Then your path is clear. Hedana. Think of what they did to Leandra. I, I just hope we can help smooth it. I just can't get my head around the facts that we just feel. There's still a long way to go, but life's picking up again in the Cairn. Ludmilla, I hope you can see this wherever you are. Nobody here, but our computers on. You know I hate it when people mess with my stuff. That's an impressive amount of equipment. It's the bare minimum for leading a handful of activists against a megacorp like Indran. Haven't changed much, have you? Aside from a couple of new lines on your face. <laughs> Thanks, asshole. You know, I always knew you'd come back. It was just a matter of when. This isn't quite the reunion I had in mind. But it's a happy one. I heard about your handiwork at the mine. Madonna. Kahal? You must have a lot to talk about. I'll go check on the solar panels. Catch you later. Madonna, I... How are you doing? You've grown. It's not worth trying to rebuild that bridge now, Kahal. Not after abandoning me for five years. I'm sorry, Madonna. Where do you think an apology is going to get you? You know, it was hard enough to get over Mom's death, but dealing with the fact that you chose to leave me behind when I needed you most? That left a scar. You were so focused on doing what you thought was right that you never thought about what it might do to me. I don't blame you if you hold it against me, but I still stand by my choice. I spent those five years finding my way back to the man I was. Even if you were with me, I... wouldn't have been me. And you'd have been just as alone. I was in no state to look after you. I couldn't have been the father you needed. I wasn't. Stop, Kahal. I'm really not in the mood to hear you rewrite our family history. Endrin just carved a bloody wound into my cairn. They killed my friends. Right now... All I care about is tearing Endrin apart. Rotko told me you and Ava were undercover at Endrin during the attack. That's right. I managed to infiltrate the fracking site. They just upped my security clearance, too. I've got access to their protected data. This is the best chance we've ever had at taking Endrin down. We sink them from the inside. Endrin's built a fracking site. It was a rush job. They'd set it up and posted guards before we had any time to react. It's a danger to nature and the spirits alike. 
Those sites are one of the greatest threats Gaia faces today. It hurts my heart to work there. But I also know that I'm the best chance we've got of putting a stop to it. Soon. How was it with Rodko and Ava? Honestly, it was hard at first. Rodko was... He was really mad at himself. Over you going away. Over Mom's death. He obsessed over my first change. Trained me for months and months. But as we trained, I started thinking, I don't want to go through my first change. Are you scared? Fuck no. I just don't want to be a Garu. You're all too unstable. Mom wasn't a Garu, and she was one of the best fighters the Karen had ever seen. I think that's why I drifted toward Ava and her way of doing things. Fortunately, Rodko mellowed out after a while. I was able to talk with him earlier. Seems like he's gotten more open-minded in these past few years. It took him some time to come around, but he finally realized that Ava's methods serve Gaia just as well as his do. Now, he's got no problem with the idea of working with humans, or my choice to follow in Mom's footsteps. You really do take after your mother. Took me back at first. I miss her too, Cole. I think about her every day. She would have been proud of you. If you say so. I'm proud of you too. That's nice of you to say and all, but I know you didn't want me to follow her path. That you wanted me to be a warrior like you and Rodko. I don't know about that. But Garu's life has its share of problems too. I can't blame you for following your mother's example. She really was exceptional. She sacrificed herself for Gaia. And she didn't abandon me, so you know. Anyway, Ava and I will keep working at Endrin's fracking site. We're gonna take those assholes down from the inside. Sink Endrin from the inside? And how do you plan on doing that? A while back, Ava, Rodko, and I discovered that Endrin's injecting its new recruits with a special serum that makes them more... everything. Yeah, I saw it myself when I was in their training center. The injection transforms people. Makes them stink of the worm. There's more to it than that. When I first joined Endrin's ranks, I was trying to figure out what was going on with their biofuel project. But, while I was analyzing the formula for the biofuel, I noticed an encrypted molecule within it. No employees have access to its composition. That same molecule is in the substance they're injecting their troops with as well as another project, the Earthblood Protocol. The Earthblood Protocol? Any idea what that's about? Not yet, but that can wait until after we figure out what this mystery molecule actually is. Once we figure out what that mystery molecule really is, we'll know what they're pumping their soldiers with, and their plans for this biofuel. Then we'll leak that info to everyone who'll listen, block the biofuel's launch, and hopefully, put the final nail in Endrin's coffin. Thing is, right now the encryption they're using on their data is impossible to break. That's why we came back. We wanted to tell Rodko how we were stuck and figure out what to do from here. How can I help? If you want to help, go meet with Ava. She and Rodko will be figuring out our next steps. All right, I'll go check in with her and then have a talk with Rodko. Any idea where I'll find her? By our solar panels. If you've got any other questions, you'll find me with the rest of the pack. They need me. How you doing, big guy? Figured I'd get out of the way, let you catch up with 80. Though, from the look on your face, it doesn't look like it went well. She's still angry at me for leaving. Can you blame her? Shit, being a teenager's bad enough, but Ludmilla's death, your exile, it was all hard on her. But you did what you had to. You had to get away from us to get yourself back on track. That's what I tried to tell her. I've been telling her that for years. Never eased her pain, though. But you're back now. 
It'll pass. Just give it time. Adana told me about your mission to infiltrate the fracking site. Yeah, about that. We're currently at a roadblock. Indran's data encryption is uncrackable. So she said. Our only way to get our hands on that data is to take it directly from the server in their lab. But surveillance is tight. Even Adana couldn't get in there without being caught. And I don't think I could create a big enough distraction to draw their security's eyes away. What's Rodko think about you two going undercover like this? As you might imagine, he was a little... resistant at first. But once he understood what we wanted to do, he gave us the green light. Sounds like you've got something in mind. If we want to draw security's attention, we have to hit them hard. Blowing up the refinery should do the trick. But that's not happening until we can get into the fracking site. That's step one. The site is protected by an electric fence and a myriad of cameras all of which are powered by the dam Indran acquired when it bought the site. Now, if someone could get into the dam and connect me to their network, I could access their system discreetly. Allowing you to cut the power to their defenses without their notice. Exactly. We can worry about the fracking site after that. Okay. I'll go talk to Rotko to see how he wants to make up the teams. Thanks, Gahal. It's good to have you back. But if you don't mind, I'd... I'd like to take a few moments for myself. Lost some friends during the attack. Don't worry. Take all the time you need. So, any news on the group that was supposed to launch the attack on the Sunburst reactor? We're still keeping our ears open. Shouldn't be long now. So, were you able to talk with your daughter? As you might imagine, there's still a lot of tension there. Between the attack on the Cairn and your sudden return, she's going through a lot right now. Give her time. Ava said the same thing. I hope you're both right. Speaking of Ava and Adana, they told me about their plan to get their hands on the encrypted data inside the fracking site's laboratory. To bring Endrin down from the inside, yes. I think they've got the right idea. If we manage to chase Endrin from this region, they'll just continue their dirty work elsewhere. It's time for a decisive blow. So we follow Ava and Adana's plan. We'll attack the dam to bring down the defenses of the fracking site. I want you to lead the incursion. You coordinate with Ava and Adana over comms and allow them access to the dam's network. Ava gave me the rundown. But if I set off a single alarm, things will get very dangerous very quickly. I know. One sign something's amiss, and Tank Girl will be at the dam before you know it. So while you're sneaking through the inside of the dam, I'll be creating a diversion on the outside. That should keep her attention off you. And even if someone does raise the alarm at the dam, Tank Girl will have no idea why you're really there. Good. You can count on me. Excellent. We'll have Declan meet you near the dam. He's got the relays you'll place to get Ava and Adana access to Indran's network. Hey, Kahal, right? You must be Declan. You with Lambda Mankind? That's right. Ava's told me all about you. 
It's an honor, really. I don't know about that. I hear you've got the relays I need to install at the dam. Yeah, I got them right here. Need anything else? What do you know about the dam? After you took down their training center, they doubled down on security at all the other sites in the region. Even if Rocco draws their attention, they're still going to have a lot of resistance. They've even brought in some of their elite guards from Nevada. And these guys are huge. I don't even know if you could call them human anymore. We've met, but I had no idea they were from Nevada. Well, the training center you took out wasn't the only cart Endrin had in its hand. That figures. What do you know about the dam? After you even we've well that figure. How'd you meet Ava anyway? By investigating her, really. I used to be a cop, tasked with putting her and Lambda Mankind away. And I tried, but Ava runs a clean operation. That didn't make the bosses happy, though. They told me to falsify evidence to bring him down. That's when I realized they were in Endred's pocket. I tried calling him out, but the whole precinct came down on me like a ton of bricks. I had no choice but to run. And I ran to Ava. I pledged my life to fighting Endrin. You and the other humans. You know who it is you're working with, right? This isn't just ideology for us. Yeah, I know. I know what you are. Ava told us everything. Trust me, Kahal. We're all on the same side here. We're fighting for the survival of the planet, whatever the cost. I should be good. Before you go, I've got a favor to ask. We've identified a key player working at the dam. We think she's got important information on whatever Endrin's up to in Nevada. Her name's Victoria Vokes. We need you to question her. Get whatever info out of her you can. Keeping the Cairn safe is my top priority here. But I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Good luck, Hal. Huh? I need the civilians taking readings on the nearby riverbank. Should I warn them, Norman? No, they're working for us. Nothing to worry about from them. I must have been dreaming. If you're out there, I'll find you.
What does the commander intend to do about these activists? You'll know as soon as I do. For now, sit tight. Dismissed. Ava, I'm at the entrance to the site. Good. The dam is down below. I'll give you the targets once you're in. Try to be careful. Don't worry. This isn't my first rodeo. Okay, let's go.
main elevator is the only way to reach your targets. You should see a big warehouse door. It's just behind that. Got it. What will the new recruits from Nevada arrive? Next week. Should be around 20. Their survival rate is improved. This is a restricted area. Personnel must have their accreditation. Perhaps I'll pay her a visit. with this Vokes woman anyway. We're trying to find out more about Andrew's biofuel. Apparently, it's manufactured in Nevada. I guess who just came I'll back I'll the report there. on my desk first thing tomorrow morning. Will do, Mrs. Vokes.
Victoria Vokes? That's right. If you want something, be quick about it. I'm busy. Who are you anyway? Are you familiar with Lambda Mankind? I've heard of them. Another group of back-to-nature idiots standing in the way of progress. Well, that saves me an explanation. I'm working with them. I'm with Endrin's Intelligence Division. We have vital information for you, Mrs. Vokes. It's taken us months, but we've managed to infiltrate the eco-terrorist group Lambda Mankind. We've learned they're planning to kidnap you. Me? But why? That's what we're trying to figure out. Perhaps you could answer a few questions for us. We know that you're working on the biofuel project. Can you think of any reason why someone would target you for that? Hmm. That's a delicate question. Only a few scientists and senior staff know the details. And of course, President Watkins. Your apprehension is understandable, Mrs. Vokes. But the threat is real. Your life is in danger. What threat does a handful of self-righteous, forest-dwelling hippies pose? What? Are they gonna slogan me to death? Think again, man. They're far more dangerous than they look. We found their last hostage with his hands cut off and his eyes gouged out. Oh my, my god. Oh, that's horrible. You... you don't think... Could they be after me because of the human testing? What do you mean? You know, th those prisoners, they'll do anything for a commuted sentence and a few years on our payroll. Anyone who agrees has to undergo a series of... No, I, I can't share that information with anyone. I understand. Just tell me what you can without violating the non-disclosure agreement. <sighs> okay. All I can tell you is that when we first tested our biofuel in the wild, we discovered something very... peculiar. Some animals exposed to the exhaust fumes changed. They became more resistant, more aggressive. Once we discovered that, we came up with a plan to test the effects on humans. You've tested... on humans? I see. What does it have to do with me? Why am I being targeted by terrorists? Calm down, Mrs. Vokes. The Intelligence Division will take care of this situation. You have my word. You promise? Just in case, could you get me some protection or bodyguards or something? Please, Mrs. Vokes, focus. We believe you have data on the biofuel project somewhere on site. Is that correct? I... yes, that's right. My office is at the dam. I should have one of those files open on my computer right now, in fact. Give me your badge, Mrs. Vokes. We'll need to completely wipe your hard drive. Can't take any risks with that sort of thing. You understand. Um... Yes, I suppose I do. Here. Oh, God. This is a nightmare. I'll stand by for your instructions or anyone you send. I'll send some men to protect you as soon as I can. In the meantime, do not speak about this to anyone. Thank you for your cooperation, Mrs. Vokes. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Ava, did you get all that? You bet I did. Nice work. All that's left is to find her computer. How are you doing, Rodko? We've taken the bait. Don't waste time. 
I'm inside. Okay. I'll mark the terminals where you need to plug me in. And once you're finished, I'll guide you to the extraction point. I've got the data. We're good. Great. That data is just what we need. Well done. So, I just received the medical files on the troops coming in from Nevada, and... And? What was that? You're not what the hell? Send security! Disconnected the first terminal. Perfect. Adana, how are you doing with the deceptors? They'll be ready in a few minutes. Rod, go. How are you holding up?
Second terminal's disconnected. Great. The deceptors are just about ready. Don't make it look like everything's still up and running. Andrin won't notice a thing. The hell, huh? Oh! Should have picked another job. That's the last terminal sorted. The deceptors are ready, Ava. I'm on it. Okay. I'm in the dam's control system now. Good to go. Go haul. It's time to withdraw. I'll tell Rodko. I've identified a vehicle exit. I'll open it for you. I've secured the turbine's perimeter. All clear.
I've requested the reports on Endron's new biofuel from Nevada. Uh, you can forget it. Only Victoria Vokes knows anything about it. Oh, and if you ask oh, her... Me too, Eddie. Me too.
I'm out. Nice job. Bring me Volk's data as soon as you can. This is where Rodko and the others staged their distraction. Humans are bleeding Gaia dry and strengthening the worm. 